First Esther chapter 2 In the first year of Cyrus, king of the Persians, that the word of the Lord might be accomplished, that he had promised by the mouth of Jeremy, the Lord raised up the spirit of Cyrus, the king of the Persians, and he made proclamation through all his kingdom, and also by writing, saying, Thus saith Cyrus, king of the Persians, The Lord of Israel, the Most High Lord, hath made me king of the whole world, and commanded <coughs> me to build him an house at Jerusalem in Jewry. If therefore there be any of you that are of his people, let the Lord, even his Lord, be with him, and let him go up to Jerusalem that is in Judea, and build the house of the Lord of Israel. For he is the Lord that dwelleth in Jerusalem. Whosoever then dwell in the places about, let them help him, those, I say, that are his neighbors, with gold and with silver, with gifts, with horses, and with cattle, and with other things, which have been set forth by vow for the temple of the Lord at Jerusalem. Then the chief of the families of Judea and of the tribe of Benjamin stood up, the priests also and the Levites, and all they whose mind the Lord had moved to go up and build the house for the Lord at Jerusalem. And they that dwelt round about them and helped them in all things with silver and gold, with horses and cattle, and with very many free gifts of a great number, whose minds were stirred up thereto. King Cyrus also brought forth the holy vessels which Nebuchadnezzar had buried away from Jerusalem, and had set up in his temple of idols. Now when Cyrus king of the Persians had brought them forth, he delivered them to Mithridates, this treasurer. And by him they were delivered to Senebasar, the governor of Judea. And this was the number of them, a thousand golden cups and a thousand of silver, censers of silver twenty-nine, vials of gold thirty, and of silver two thousand four hundred and ten, and a thousand other vessels. So all the vessels of gold and of silver which were carried away were five thousand four hundred threescore and nine. These were brought back by Senebasar, together with them of the captivity from Babylon to Jerusalem. But in the time of Artaxerxes, king of the Persians, Belimus and Mithridates, and Tibelius, and Rathamus, and Betethmus, and Semelius the secretary, with others that were in commission with them, dwelling in Samaria and other places, wrote unto him against them that dwelt in Judea and Jerusalem, these letters following, To King Artaxerxes, our Lord, thy servants, Rathamus, the story writer, and Semelius, the scribe, and the rest of their council, and the judges that are in Celosyria and Phoenice. Be it now known to the Lord King that the Jews that are up from you to us, being come into Jerusalem, that rebellious and wicked city, do build the marketplaces, and repair the walls of it, and do lay the foundation of the temple. Now if this city and the walls thereof be made up again, they will not only refuse to give tribute, but also rebel against kings. And forasmuch as the things pertaining to the temple are now in hand, we think it meet not to neglect such a matter. But to speak unto our Lord the King, to the intent that, if it be thy pleasure, it may be sought out in the books of thy fathers, and thou shalt find in the chronicles what is written concerning these things, and shalt understand that that city was rebellious, troubling both kings and cities, and that the Jews were rebellious, and raised always wars therein, for the which cause even this city was made desolate. Wherefore now we do declare unto thee, O Lord the King, that if this city be built again, and the walls thereof set up anew, thou shalt from henceforth have no passage into Celesyria and Phoenice. Then the king wrote back again to Rathamus, the story writer, to Beeltithmus, to Similius, the scribe, and to the rest that were in commission, <clears throat> and dwellers in Samaria and Syria and Phoenice after this matter. I have read the epistle which ye have sent unto me, Therefore I commanded to make diligent search, and it hath been found that that city was from the beginning practicing against kings, and the men therein were given to rebellion and war, and that mighty kings and fierce were in Jerusalem, who reigned and exacted tributes in Celesyria and Phoenice. Now therefore I have commanded to hinder those men from building the city, and he to be taken, that there be no more done in it and that those wicked workers proceed no further to the annoyance of kings. 
And then Artaxerxes, his letters being read, Rathamus and Semelius the scribe, and the rest that were in commission with them, removing in haste toward Jerusalem with a troop of horsemen and a multitude of people in battle array, began to hinder the builders. And the building of the temple in Jerusalem ceased until the second year of the reign of Darius, king of the Persians.